our previous tutorial, we discussed about ellipse, fillet, and chamfer. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the trim entities and extend entities, and how to create a new plan and convert entities. Let's start our tutorial. First, select any one of this plane and sketch. Draw a sketch using this sketch tools. I'm using line. Draw sketch however you want. Then right click, click on select. Now we have this sketch. With this sketch, we will see how to use trim entities. Go here and select trim entities. Here we have five types. One is power trim, corner, trim away inside, trim away outside, trim to closest. First we will see how to use power trim. In power trim, keep cursor at one side of the line or sketch. Press left click and drag through the line. Trim the respective line. Like this. Now you can observe that there is no line. If you want the line again, just press Ctrl and Z. Now we have again this line. For trim is completed. Select again trim entities. Now we will see that corner. In corner, we can trim in four ways. We can trim this line and this line, or this line, this line, or you can trim this line and this line, and this line and this line. We will see that it is uh, depend upon your selections. If we select this line and uh, this line, these two lines will trim. That means whatever you selected, the two lines will remain and the remaining lines will trim like this. Now we can observe that this line and this line, the two lines trim. Find the lines again, just press Ctrl Z. You can get these two lines. We can observe one more example in corner. Select trim entities, select corner, select this line and this line, this line and this line will trim. I am selecting this. Now you can observe that this extension and this extension are trimmed. Now we will see that trim away inside. So select trim entities, select a trim away inside. In this option, First, we need to select the two lines. In between these lines, only you can trim. For example, if you select this line, at the time also, it will trim inside these lines. Like this. Inside the lines, you can trim. Like this. Press Ctrl Z to get out sketch. Okay, now we will see trim away outside. Select trim at this. Now we will see about trim away outside. In this also we need to select uh, two lines. I am selecting again this line and this line. Now I am selecting this line. You can observe that the outside two lines are trimmed. The inside one is remains there. Similarly, this line and this line. You can observe that the outside lines are trimmed. And now we will see trim closest. Click trim. Now we can observe that the option uh, trim closest. In this option, we can trim between two points. Here we have a point and here we have a point. If you select this, this line will trim. That means you can trim line by line. You cannot trim uh, the entire line or two lines at a time. Just you can trim line by line like this. Up to now we discussed about uh, how to trim unwanted lines. Now we will see how to extend lines. If you are sketching something and you have a small gap here and no need to select again line, directly you can extend using extend entities. Go here, 
click on share amount you can observe extend and it is select that and select the line whatever you need to extend now you can observe that there is a line extended up to this line extend and it is we use whenever there is another line to meet at the time only you can use extend and it is now you can observe that here we have a line whenever you are trying to extend it will extend up to this line if you want to extend more than this line you cannot extend or there is no line to extend up to that point whenever there is a particular point then only it will extend up to that for example if you select this it will show error the element cannot be extended any further we will see one more example for that extended this now draw in a sketch right click it is from the line select here extend and it is extend this line up to this line but you cannot extend this line in this direction why because we don't have any line to meet now if you extend this line it will extend up to this line in the previous time whenever we are trying to extend this line at that time we don't have this line to extend for that we got error now if you are trying to extend it will extend up to this line and also it will extend up to this and this also ok now we will see how to create a plane and then we will see convert entities then exit from the sketch now we will see how to create a new plane click on features then select the reference geometry then select plane here we need to select uh, these references with these references you can create a plane this is the first reference in the first reference you can select a front plane, top plane and right plane ok now we will discuss ok I am selecting front plane if we rotate this you can observe that there is a gap between this front plane and our created plane and also you can increase number of planes here you cannot decrease less than one Okay, click and tick mark now you can observe that we have a plane here now we will see how to convert this first sketch into this plane 1 select plane 1 then sketch whenever you are trying to convert uh, you should be in sketch mode then only you can convert select this convert entities after selecting convert entities you can select a line by line or else you can select chain okay, you will see that if you want to select a line by line just uncheck this uh, select chain then select uh, each line like this or else if you want the chain the continuous one just select the uh, select chain if you select this line the entire chain will select you can observe that the entire chain is selected like this after selecting line and sketches whatever you want then just click a tick mark just rotate it now you can observe that two sketches this is our sketch one and this is our converted sketch like this we will use the convert entities if you want our complete tutorials on SOLIDWORKS just visit our channel you can observe from basics in our next tutorial we will see offset entities and mirror entities